this is Bernard from Leitner Designs. Today we're going to do an install on our full size five and a half foot unit on this 2017 Tundra. To begin, we recommend you laying out all of the inventory on a blanket or mat to make sure all the parts are ready for install. All right, let's get started by assembling the driver and passenger side rail assemblies. You should note that the D and the P stamped in the lower rail should face the rear of the truck. Using T-bolts and M8 nuts, fasten upright B, the rear, to the upper rail. Now duplicate this process on the other side with upright A, fastening it to the upper rail. Now attach the upright assembly to the lower rail using the provided 12 millimeter bolts. Prepare the rail clamps by screwing in the M8 by 80 bolts through to the other side, showing approximately a half inch. Next, slide on the rail clamps, taking note that some trucks only have room for two clamps per side. This does not change its payload rating. Once you have repeated this process on the other side, we are now ready to install the driver and passenger side assemblies to the truck. Line up the clamp foot hole with the top of the M8 by 80 bolt and screw all the way in hand tight. Repeat this process on each clamp foot until the passenger and driver side assemblies are attached to the truck hand tight. Be sure to center the upright with the rear pillar. Next connect the upright braces with the M8 flange head cap screws along with M8 lock nuts. Now fasten the rear lower upright brace brackets with your M8 by 60 flange head cap screws and M8 nuts. Line up the bracket with the rear D pillar making sure it is centered. This is important so the bolt heads clear when the tailgate is closed. Now repeat this process on the other side, making sure that both lower rails are lined up equally. Use the remaining two M8 by 20 bolts and M8 lock nuts, along with the front upright braces to install at the front of each side of the truck. Fasten the top of the front upright braces to the top of the uprights on both sides of the truck. Now tighten down each rail clamp. Remember, some trucks may only have four clamps while others have six. All right, onto those crossbars. Prepare your crossbar brackets with the M8 T-bolts and M8 lock nuts as shown. Gather your crossbar brackets and slide knobs to install on the upper rails. Slide two M8 T-bolts to the front of the top rail and keep two at the back of the top rail on both sides of the truck. Fasten the two crossbar brackets toward the rear of the truck with the slide knobs provided. Now fasten the crossbar brackets toward the front of the truck with the M8 nuts and bolts. Using the technique shown, install both the front and the rear crossbars to the active cargo system. To finish installing your crossbars, we need to make sure that the active cargo system in the bed of your truck is square. To do this, refer to your instructions and measure the front rail to rail A point and the rear rail to rail B point. Then you will subtract 18 and 3 quarter inches to get your A1 and B1 finish sizes. Holding your front crossbar at your A1 measurement, tighten down the lock nuts. 
continue to the rear of your truck, holding the rack to the B1 measurements and tightening down the lock nuts as well. This truck had the same measurement, but on a Ford it would not be the same. This is a very important step to make sure that you get your active cargo system squared. To install the rear upright braces to the D-pillar of the bed of your truck, we recommend using a hammer and set punch so you're as accurate as possible for the hole you need to drill next. Use the provided drill bit to drill your hole into the D-pillar of your truck. It is important to clearance the bed liner material away from the lip of the rib nuts. Using a rib nut, the provided spacer and bolt, use the technique shown to install the rib nut on your D-pillar. Here's a quick look at how a rib nut works when you install it into a metal surface. Now install the lower brace bracket to the D-pillar of your truck with the M6 bolt. Remove the rear upright brace bolt. Then, using the same steps as you did on the lower rib nut, set, drill, and install the upper rib nut to your D-pillar. Moving to the front, install the lower upright brace by using the same steps as you did on the rear rib nuts by setting, drilling, and installing the rib nut to your bed. After all six rib nuts and M6 by 20 bolts are installed, you can reinstall the lower rear upright brace bracket bolts. You are ready for your last step by installing the crossbar pad onto your crossbars. Work them in incrementally, working from one side of the crossbar to the other. Trim any excess hanging over the edge as needed. Installing each of the crossbar end caps to your crossbars finishes up the install of your active cargo system. Enjoy!